freeze position and freeze rotation on the Z axis. That might stop the rolling. There you go. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, hmm, if you fall off and you want to respawn where you started at without having to reload the level. Kind of like a death boundary type thing. Just, let's just do it. Alright. I'm going to create a green object for the player. I'm going to add my move script to it to make a move. And you can check out my move video if you want to. It's like 10 minutes long. Let's give it a speed of 3. Make sure he moves, and I don't see my character at all. Where's my character? There he is. Okay, cool, he's moving. Now I'm going to open up the uh, new script, actually, and just pause it. You can pause the video and copy and paste it. Alright guys, uh, pause the video if you need this move script and just put it on a cube and give it a speed and then inspector. I'm using three for the video. Alright, let's get back to what we're doing. I'm going to make another game object. That's a cube. And I'm going to bring it down. What? Why is it doing that? Okay, I'm going to bring it down. And create a material and make it a different color. So you go to create under project material and name your material. I'll call it death. And let's make it red. Go back to your game object you made and go to materials element zero and pick this okay and let's stretch it out so it covers the whole scene go to scale on your transform on the x value and just do that and make sure it has a box collider on it and a is trigger clicked and you're going to need to add a a component rigid body. And then it's not using gravity, so unclick it. And it's not moving, so click this schematic. It'll just make it stay still forever. And okay. We also need to give the uh, the death zone object a name. I'll call it death and then a tag go to inspector tag click on it and click add tag and type in death you can uh, do that by you can add a new one by doing the addition sign right here I've already done it and just click on a game object to get out of that selection mode and then go back to your death object and click tag and then you can click death cool now all we have to do is make a empty game object empty and let's name this um, spawn 
set this to zero, 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 so we can see where it's at. Okay, it's right here, and we're just going to drag them over here for now. Okay. So now we need to move a script when we touch the red zone we want to spawn back onto this position right here okay but before that we need to add some support for the character so let's add a 3d game object for the ground let's just call it ground And uh, do the same thing, add a material like you just did for the red one. And just give it a color, different color, uh, material. I'll call it ground. And I'm going to give it a, I'll just give it a grass color. Go back to ground game object materials element zero and choose ground. Slide it over, bring it down just a little bit, stretch it out, and we'll just do it, do it like this. Okay, and let's add a rigid body to the player. So go to your player, add component, rigid body, and we are going to use gravity so you can fall and press play and you should fall on the cube. Yeah. So now you're supported and when you go off the ground you should fall. Oh, okay, so now we need to make that interaction when you uh, touch the death or the lava or whatever. Okay, let's create a script. Create C sharp script and let's call it uh, death script, I guess. All right. And we're going to make a public transform and we're going to call it uh, actually let's do a no let's do a transform that's what we want public transform my position my current position on the level and the transform is just your uh, like this this is this right here this is the transform so if you do transform dot you'll be able to grab position, rotation, and scale by using transform. Put that back to zero. 